Good afternoon, John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner, and one year later, February 8th, 2022, we return to the scene of the crime, so to speak, the same church parking lot where I shot my uh, first video of the Cadillac. The only difference being they have since restriped the parking lot lines, uh, which they hadn't done a year ago. And today the sun is shining, whereas before I shot this on a cloudy day. So we're going to go through here and talk about changes that have been made and changes I have yet to make uh, in the year that's gone by. Let's again do the basic walk around like we did a year ago, just to sort of reframe everything. You notice any difference already? Well, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with ride height. And that's all I'm going to say for now. All right, so we're going to start off with a list so I don't get distracted too much a list of things that have been replaced up top and a things and a list of things that have yet to do and then we'll go through it accordingly uh, the first thing is I replaced the muffler and tailpipe assembly the second thing is I put new stock springs on to return it to normal ride height as you probably can tell the fender was lower before over the front wheel and actually, if you looked at where the skirt was, it was actually, ah, can I come in? Oh yeah. The skirt was actually below the Cadillac emblem on the, uh, there, there it is, on the hubcap. Added new front end suspension items, uh, tie, tie rods, bushings, uh, idler arms, things of that sort. Uh, Actually, Mitch did all that. I don't know the names of all the items. I tore the rotten carpet out from the trunk and took it down to bare metal, which I'll show you. I sanded and painted over the rust on the trunk lip where I had shown you the, uh, uh, where it was rusting. I put, I got a new spare tire and put the spare tire cover over it, which is nice. Got a new radiator, including a radiator guard and shroud. And uh, I had the transmission rebuilt, which stopped the transmission leak. The transmission leak was really stubborn. I uh, also had a stubborn radiator leak, which replacing the radiator fixed that as well. Uh, the oil leak has more to do with uh, probably head gasket or intake manifold leak, possibly requires an engine rebuild. I'm not quite ready to uh, deal with that yet. So um, that remains to be on the to-do to list for many years to come whenever I just happen to uh, fall into great sums of money things I have yet to do, but I have the parts for it, is to install and replace the hood springs, install the seat belt extensions, 12 inch extensions on the seat belts, install the passenger side mirror, and sand and paint the trunk floor. Uh, sanding and painting the trunk floor is easy enough, uh, but it's time consuming and tedious and will require my undivided attention and concentration. Oh, something not on the list that I did, and you may recall it from my most recent video from last month, was that I sanded and painted the radiator cover, or not the radiator cover, the air filter cover, and uh, we'll have a look at that. So uh, let's open things up and look at it one at a time. Muffler and tailpipe assembly, harder to get to and see than you think. Uh, probably where I ran over the camera with the car and showed the underbody back on December 19th is a better indicator. But if I get down on my hands and knees, you can see that 
that is indeed new. And in the distance back there, a new muffler. The old one had been scraped up because the car had been lowered and uh, brought to the ground. It hit on the ground. Oh, that new shocks. I forgot to mention that. New shocks both front and rear so that the ride is a lot more comfortable. We're back here at the trunk, so why don't we stay at the trunk? I'll lift the... Remember when I said all oh, the humanity and it was horrible? Well, let's have a look back here and see what we got. I removed all the rotting carpet and you see that what's left is a little bit of rust up there Actually, that looks like rust, but the rest of this, like this is adhesive, it's glue. That's glue. That's not uh, rust. And actually, most of the bare metal is in excellent shape. This is debatable, but I didn't want to tear the whole thing away since some of the carpet was still in decent shape. While we're back here, let's also talk about the painted lip. All this was rusted, and I didn't do a real good job of it, but I sanded it down and used touch-up paint. White matching touch-up paint, well, as close as I could come to matching. And most of the areas that were really bad, I went and got. And you don't see any more rust holes. The ones that were really offensive, I covered up. Did I put Bondo on here? Well, I'm looking and there might be some, but most of it's paint. Most of it's touch-up paint. And as you can see, the rest, of the, the rest of the trunk's in pretty darn good shape. While I'm also at it, this is the new spare tire. I'll lift the cover on it. It used to stink really bad in here. Now it at least smells like fresh rubber. I got a wheel, I got a five lug wheel at the junkyard in Turlock, or excuse me, salvage yard. They don't like it when you call it a junkyard, it's a salvage yard. And then I bought the spare tire new, but at a decent price. It's not a brand name, but it's not gonna leave me stranded either. You can see the new springs right there, right there. And you saw the new shocks in the rear. Um, tie rod ends and things like that. I don't think this is new, but I'll show you when I open the hood, uh, the new hardware that Mitch installed. All right, this is pretty minor stuff, but uh, I went to the flea market swap meet last May and got a fake 1973 uh, license plate for the front plate illegal to put it in the back technically illegal to put it in the front as well but uh, nobody's gonna bitch and moan too much about that because I uh, still haven't repaired the or replaced the hood springs we still have to uh, use our funky way of uh, opening the hood with the bungee cord all right let's talk about a few things here there we go. That's a new bushing right there. I don't want to burn myself. But that's an example of one on the driver's side. And we have one over here on the passenger side. Mitch put a whole bunch of new hardware. The things that were really starting to wear out is the stuff that he replaced. Uh, nothing more that he he knew i was watching a budget so he didn't go overboard but the things that led th the things that were going to wear out later and affect the car's ride and possibly wear and tear on the tires is what he spent the majority of the time working on now as i pointed out before this is the cadillac uh 472 sticker that I bought, the decal, for the air filter cover that I recently painted last month. There's the rebuilt radiator. 
The main thing you're gonna notice is this nice metal shroud. Oh, that sounds nice and strong, doesn't it? I'm not gonna see the radiator per se real well because it's in shadow. Nah, you're not gonna see it at all, but he replaced the aluminum radi radiator and put in a traditional older uh, brass and steel radiator, which is actually better for this car. Let me, uh, yeah, let me come, ar come around and see if you can see it better from here. Now all you see is the fan. You're not gonna see it. There's a piece of it right, right, right there. You're looking at it, it's black painted steel. Yeah, that's, that's the extent of it there. So that's the radiator. That's the new transmission pan. That took a long time to get right. Several times I brought it in to be repaired and it was still leaking. Finally put the new pan on there and the leaking stopped. So that was a good thing. Because I couldn't keep affording the transmission fluid. So things that have yet to be done. Number one, oh, let me not get in the shadows. Uh, the hood springs. These are all rusted out. I got the new ones in the garage. I also got them at the Turlock Salvage Yard, repainted them, put them in the rust stuff. What happens is, is these wear out, get stretched out of shape, and then it causes the hood not to click and open right, and I had, that's why I have to use the uh, bungee cord to open the hood. And these here are the seatbelt extenders that I still need to put in or have installed. That's probably going to be done next week, or possibly even this week. That's going to be done by Jeff at Mike's shop. And uh, the seatbelt extender does exactly what it says it's going to do. And that is, this is 12 extra inches that you attach to this side bolts to the floor, and this side bolts to the part of the I'm trying to think the female end that was bolted to the floor and this here is your hardware and there of course there's there's two of them and I bought this last calendar year and I have yet to get that taken care of but that will be taken care of soon the next thing we want to do and this is hopefully 2022 maybe 23 if it can get done is I need to have Mike or Mitch, probably gonna be Mike or Jeff actually, bolt some holes in here and mount the, uh, the passenger side view mirror there. And just so you know what it's gonna look like, we'll come along over to this side and it's basically gonna look like this. They, they got a nice reproduction that looks exactly the same with the Cadillac script and everything. The only difference is it's symmetrically opposite to fit the passenger side instead of the driver's side. Hopefully we'll get that taken care of. And again, I might have already said it, I don't know, but I'm going to paint, I removed the carpet, the rotted old carpet out. What I'll do is I'll paint the floor sand this down to bare metal. I'm not going to care about the glue, obviously, the adhesives, but where I think that there's uh, rust, I'll get it. I'd like to sand this down in gray primer, much the same color as this is. And then after I do the gray primer, then repaint this in either flat black or gloss black. I really don't care which one it is so long as it gets done. I don't want to risk spray painting black and getting the spray up on the, on the trunk, which is white, so you could probably use a paint brush. I don't care if there's brush strokes. It's uh, just to line and protect. It's not the exterior. It's not uh, a question of cosmetics so much as a, a question of protection. So 
and it's probably the, the last on the list of things that need to be done. So that's it. A year later, I've told you what progress has been done. I've told you what else needs to be done. And maybe by next year, I might not come back to this exact church parking lot, but hopefully even more things, the things I described will be taken care of by then. I go to Cool April Nights uh, this April. My goal is to have the trunk uh, floor uh, sanded, primed, and painted by then. We'll see if that comes to pass. I'm John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner, and I'll talk to you later.